When a Bluetooth speaker gets left on my doorstep and it's in a heavy box, I get so excited. And this is a heavy speaker. Is it Mlove or Mlove? I kind of hope it's Mlove. This is the Mlove A200 and it's in my favorite Bluetooth speaker category, tabletop speakers. What makes the Mlove A200 a tabletop speaker? Well, just look at this thing. No handles, not waterproof, gorgeous materials, made for the living room, definitely a tabletop speaker. Just look at this beautiful speaker. They say it's a mid-century modern design. Call it whatever you want, I love it. This is a metal speaker grill. They say that the top and the knobs are made of the same material. I don't know though, it feels like plastic to me. I don't care. <laughs> they, and this looks like leather, probably polyurethane. Again, I don't care. The overall package is pretty. All of the speaker's physical controls are located on the top. This is the power button. If you hold it down for eight seconds or longer, it will also reset the speaker. This is the volume knob. It works in conjunction with the volume controls of whatever Bluetooth source you are using. This is the treble knob, and this is the bass knob. This is the mode selection. It will switch between your various sources. I'll talk more about that later. It will also reset the Bluetooth source if you ever need to do that. This is your TWS button, True Wireless Stereo, which will allow you to wirelessly connect two of these speakers in a left and right channel fashion for true stereo and double the power. This is your play pause button. It will also go to the next track if you long press or go to the previous track if you double press. That's not my favorite button scheme. They have all the space on the top of the speaker and they're still doing that kind of stuff. But I like the speaker so much, I'll forgive that. All of the ports are located on the back of the speaker. There is a USB-C charging port, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input port, a U-Drive slot, and a TF card slot. The U-Drive and the TF card are only rated for 32 gigabytes. However, you may find that larger sizes from various manufacturers work just fine. I was able to get a 128 gigabyte U-Drive to work, and a 64 gigabyte TF card to work. The MLove A200 is rated for 45 watts of power. They accomplished this with a four inch woofer and a 2.6 inch tweeter. And for the extra boom, we have the ported enclosure. A lot of speakers brag about their big watts and then you go to listen to them and it's all distortion after 50 or 60%. What good is that? Not the MLove A200. With this speaker, the entire 45 watts is usable. It's loud. It will fill a large room and it is thumpy. Other speakers have equalizer presets or bass boost or vocal boost, whatever kind of nonsense they're trying to push on you. The Mlove A200 has bass and treble knobs. You can shape this however you want to and it's going to sound fantastic. It is actually kind of rare when I run across a speaker that sounds good across the entire audio spectrum. The Mlove A200 sounds good regardless if you're listening to bass pounding music or classical highs. They include a 5,000 milliamp hour battery in the speaker and it charges in about four hours. They say you will get about 10 hours of playback on this, but I don't think so. You're going to want to listen to this loud and so four, five hours maybe. But this is clearly a console speaker. Would you ever not have it plugged in? You can use this as a power bank, but again, I don't think I would. But just be aware, when you first pull this out of the box, it probably will not show up in your list of devices until you reset your Bluetooth source. I don't know why, I've never had that happen to me before, but that's what happened with this speaker. How do I rate the Mlove A200 given that it lies squarely within my favorite Bluetooth speaker category, console speakers. It looks beautiful. It sounds fantastic. It's loud. Mm. Five out of five. You should get one of these. You should get two of these. 
and then you can have beautiful TWS mode with this fantastic speaker. Thanks for stopping by.